You didn't even take a picture of it. Fine. Well, I think it's an emblem that was left behind by the makers who made the building or structure or the workers of the foundation. Like they did back in the old days. The most famous picture of all, which is not bullshit. The men sitting on top of the Empire State Building eating lunch. Now, supposedly they say that photo was staged. Some say it isn't. But, anyways, they left their mark on history. We're going this way. Look at that dude. He's still chilling in that car, dude. Yeah, right. What a jackass. Well, uh, we don't know what his obligation is right now. Sitting there for the ladies. markings all over the city that identify key structures. So one would wonder, what does that, here, say? Burko Brothers Company, Randolph, and Wood Street. So you're thinking of labeling. Yes. Those are the makers of probably the seller door construction. Chakra healing. I need a chakra healing on my back. I mean, there's, it's, it's all over the city. Anywhere you go. Uh, especially at Independence Hall and where the Liberty Bell is. So what does it mark mostly represent? The symbol upon which someone built something. Like, what does it say? C-A-T-V. That means there's, there's Cat 5 cables running underneath the city right now. In that particular area. The W stands for water main on the manhole covers. So one would assume that everything has a purpose. My grandparents, they put the letter R in some sort of writing and fastened that over top of their door that led to the outside world. So that stood for our last name, which was Renner. Thomas Bond House. You know what these are? Bond. Thomas you know what Bond. These are? Uh, yeah, those are uh, posts there. For? Uh, probably tying your car to. <laughs> well, I guess that is semi accurate considering the vehicles back then were horses. That's, so, yeah. yeah it's, these are old style posts that used to hold horses. I'd make a game out of them. You have to like park hour, like all the way across them. You know what this is? It's the uh, thing with the. Um, no, tell me. I don't know either, but I do know that Something its symbolism with the, is a crest. The the north the north star of the a compass of some sorts. If no, I had to guess. This would be well. That would be the north star. Uh, here you go. It says, uh, Soco and lime. It doesn't say. It says school without the school kill. kill. Come on, you should. You're from around here, River. Hey. Wow, they really don't. Know Awesome. What? That's that's how you spell it. What are you talking no, about? Not. How do you spell it? S C H U L Y K Y L L. On this site stood the Slate Roof House, which apparently doesn't exist anymore. Oh, oh! I do remember this. I do remember something from history. Woo! Hey, Mr. God Person, over here. I'll teach you something that you probably already know. <laughs> Probably something. <laughs> this guy. All right. At the time, uh, his house, William Penn's house, was really the biggest in Philadelphia City. And it was written into law that no house or structure be made bigger than his home. He was like the president, basically, of Philadelphia. That doesn't sound fair. I know. But... Uh, in like the early 1900s or whatever, uh, structures were made that were obviously bigger than his house, uh, which eventually got torn down. It's probably written around here somewhere. But to commemorate the tradition of no structure in Philadelphia ever being made taller than William Penn's house, they commissioned statues just like this one and put them atop the tallest building in Philadelphia to commemorate the tradition 
that no structure be built taller than William Penn's home. What's he doing with his hand? There was probably an umbrella that he was leaning on at one time. I don't know. Yeah. I want to see the movie. I want to know the time. Some history involved. 